stuck here, this rather sorry looking mess here is my reel to reel and I've taken it apart because I want to do a little bit of rewiring to it. It does work, but it could sound better. There is um, a slight amount of hum through the speakers and that is due to an unregulated power supply. So what I'm going to do is give it a regulated power supply and the speakers won't hum at all. Now you can see it closer up. Uh, this is the motor with the fan on the back. And there's the main transformers. There's the amplifier and the controls. And this wire here, which I've cut, is where the power goes into the amplifier. Because I've tested this with a regulated power supply. The amplifier works, and with a regulated power supply there is no hum at all. You can see the schematic here, which is located on the back of the tape recorder on the inside. And I noticed that this says 17.2 volts, but it's negative 17.2 volts. I thought to myself, minus 17.2 volts? That can't be right. Must be a misprint or something. Then I noticed in the rectifier here, the diodes are pointing the other way to what they'd usually face. And then I saw the transistors are PNP, which explains it. So when I connected the regulated power supply to test this, positive gets connected to the, the ground, and the negative gets connected to the supply wire. This is a uh, regulated power supply. I don't know what it came out of, but I know it is regulated, and it does give out the right voltage. And I'm now going to put that in this. And so, the rewiring is done. This is the extra power supply which I have added. Which is now connected to the amplifier board. This transformer here has to stay in because it powers the motor. This motor is 110 volts and the transformer as you can see has the many different taps for the international voltages and I've but I've hardwired it so it's connected to the 240 volt which is the voltage used here let's plug in see if it all works Well, it's showing signs of life. The uh, motor is spinning and uh, there's a little light on in the uh, thing. That's not very easy to see. I'll turn the camera's light off. You might be able to see it better. So, it's showing signs of life and uh, let's see if it's working. It's alive! It's alive! Let's try and play a tape. This is the um, where the knob goes that uh, selects play and rewind. Now let's play a tape. And it's playing. Um, if you're wondering, <clears throat> if you were doing what this is, this um, thing here, I haven't been able to get any um, new heads for this. Uh, this main head here is worn out. 
And what I've done is I've put a. Uh, I'll just put the light on. I've got the tape head out of a cassette recorder, and I've wired that into the amplifier and got it aligned. And as you heard, it does record and play back with a good sound. The only problem is, being of a different configuration, it can only record and play onto the outer track of the tape. Now, it's only a temporary fix. When I can find a head that will fit this machine, I will remove that and uh, put a proper head in. I've been all over the internet and all over eBay, but I haven't found anything yet, but I probably will in the future. I'll just give you a close-up of the actual tape head. Actually, you can see it better with the light off. If anybody of you recognises this type of head and the uh, fixings it has. If you have a head like this or um, know where I can get um, a replacement head, I'd appreciate your help. I'm still getting a little bit of hum, but I think that's from the main transformer at the back here. I think that's interfering with the amplifier slightly, so I'm going to shield the amplifier now and see what we get. I've got a cardboard spacer on the amplifier board and uh, insulated where the wires connect to the amplifier. Now all that remains is to put tin foil on the top of it and that should stop the interference from the transformer. And there we are. One shielded amplifier. It's taped to the uh, chassis as well. So, it should now be completely hum-free. Well, that's just about it from me. Uh, I'm sure I'm coming up to the 10 minute limit now. Um, before I go, I just thought I'd tell you that right now I'm recording my voice through the tape recorder. I have the microphone connected to the tape recorder's input and the tape recorder speaker out connected to the computer there's no line out so I, that's why I'm using the speaker out and um, any of you skeptics that think that vintage audio doesn't have a good sound well this video proves you wrong uh, I know you can hear a bit of hum right now that's the microphone doing this not the tape recorder I'm now going to play a tape to show you the quality that this machine can do Well, that was lovely, Miss Lisa, but, um, we're just, um, about out of time now, so, until next time, goodbye for now. Next time on Tape Recorder Videos, the DC Bias Battle, Sony TCM-150, Matsui SX-5003, and Bush MCA-42XI. Which one sounds best? Find out next time on Tape Recorder Videos.